through Lauren's and Jim's relationship together, I've learned many things. Um, you must find someone that compliments you and challenges you. Not look for someone that completes you, but looks for someone um, that wants to create a new wholesome life with you, independent of you, yet alongside you. And Jim and Lauren have found that in each other. Jim soothes Lauren. Lauren encourages Jim to live louder. And they've been so through so much together, illness, relocation, starting a business. Their entire relationship thus far has been based on growth and acceptance, and they're continually an inspiration to me. They have rewired the way I navigate relationships because their relationship showed me that acceptance isn't something you work towards, but something that's like there from the very beginning. Love hasn't moved in a straight line. I've come to think most don't. There have been points where one of us has been fighting just to tread water, and we take turns pu pulling each other out of the darkness, and after each challenge, we're always able to grow closer together. That's the difference I feel in my love with you. Your humbleness, openness, and always your honesty makes it possible. You never resent my failings, and you claim yours and you never let us go long being angry with each other, never to bed mad. I'm so ready to marry you today. It fills my heart and soul to stand here and choose you first over any others. I promise to always consider you first and to listen to you, to understand, and to support you. I promise to keep challenging you to do better and to be a mirror for, to keep growing in yourself and our partnership. There have been difficulties, doubt, pain, illness, the burdens of our past lives, the terror of the future. I don't care. Every time the clouds part, I find myself nearer to you than I was before. Each time I see you more clearly and feel myself opening more fully to you. If I can see you, if I can be seen by you, if I can help you, if I can receive your help, then I have nothing else whatsoever in all the world to ask for. Oh, my precious. Hey, he had a baby. <laughs> my little, my little lady warm. <laughs> the most tender blessing I have ever known. There aren't any words to say what my love for you is like, but when you look at me, like now, I know you can see it. Today I'm here to offer up my life to you. Be my wife, sugar.
I don't know what to say. I just... You found your one, Jim. You, you really have. I hope you guys have many years of keeping each other warm through the winters out here. You always talk about a moment in our early life together that meant a lot to you, the moment I grabbed your hands and told you I see you. And it was a simple sentence, but the layers were in my eyes and voice. I meant I saw who you really were, your potential, your love, and your heart. And truth is, you saw me too, through my fear and my pain. And you pulled me out, and you brought me home to myself and to this place. Once a crop is planted, there's no perfect approach. Perfection is embracing the nature of the unknown, having faith that everything will thrive well enough, trying new techniques based on educated approaches, and showing up every day to tend to something you don't fully understand, yet you feel compelled to do so. Some people call that love. These two people have shaped my life in such a positive way just as on New Year's Eve. I am excited to witness your unwrapping of your new life together through this gift of marriage. Let's toast to the gift of marriage and the sweetest hearts, Lauren and Jeff.